response and the visual circle goes on and on. Now the thing is, when Derek explains this, he explains that the Nicerol helps remove excess DHC from the scalp. This is not what it does. Nicerol helps remove... What is up guys and welcome back again. So in this video it might seem a little bit like I am rambling and it's because I haven't even prepared anything to say and I haven't written any manuscript or anything that like I usually do. So this is just my thoughts and I just wanted to share them with you. So the thing is today we are going to talk about Nisrol and how it works with DHT since I see a lot of misconception on how it works and one of the things I saw was a video from More Plates, More Dates, where Derek explained that he's using Nisoral to remove excess androgens from his scalp. Now, it works in theory like that, but I think you need to know the underlying working mechanisms of how Nisoral works to so actually know what you're doing, so it will make more sense and what other kind of steps you can take to increase your hair density and make it grow a lot faster than it used to. Before we start the video though, I want to make a little shout out. I can see a lot of my followers on my content are also following a lot of self-improvement content and I've been following this guy called Darren for some time. He has a great channel, makes some great content and I would like to give a quick shout out to him. If you like self-improvement channels and you want to see his channel grow maybe, then I'll suggest you just click the link up here in the corner and check out his video, maybe give him a thumbs up to help his video improve. He's a super solid dude, I like his content and I want to help him improve his channel. So. How does Nisrol actually work? Well, the way Derek explains it is that Nisrol works by removing excess DHT from your scalp area. And that is not exactly the way it works and I don't agree exactly on how he delivered the information. So I thought it was important to make a video where, it ex where I explain exactly why it, why it removes excess DHT or androgens from your scalp area. So I have a little graph over here on my computer. I'm going to show it somewhere up here so you can follow me. So the thing is, if we look in this circle from this study, of course the study is linked below as usual, we can see that there's a circle and this is a vicious circle of androgen response. Now, if we just start up in the left corner, we can see you have some acute inflammation. This leads to androgen response, meaning that in another study I found that also is linked below, it has been proven that when you have inflammation in areas with androgen receptors, androgen activity tends to build up in that area. This means that if you have inflamed tissue in your scalp, no matter what you do, your androgens will tend to build up in that area, likely your DHC. With this then leads to increased sebum production. Now when you have sebum, you give you give way to microorganisms to live in your scalp area and as we follow the circle, microorganisms gives inflammation in the area. This then again leads to improved androgen response and the visual circle goes on and on. Now the thing is, when Derek explains this, he explains that the Nisoral helps remove excess DHC from the scalp. This is not what it does. Nisrol helps remove microorganisms from your scalp area, which then, if you have a problem with that, is going to reduce your inflammation. When you then reduce your inflammation, you are going to reduce the androgen buildup. So it's not the Nisrol that removes the excess DHT from your scalp area, it is the decrease in inflammation that helps the area not being inflamed and not having a DHT buildup, which then leads to not having increased sebum production, giving way to more microorganisms living on your scalp and so on and so on and so on. One thing I want to promote also with this is that if you tend to look at this circle diet that I provide here, if we just skip the microorganism part, it is actually the inflammation that is the main problem for the DHT buildup. So let's say that you have inflammation in your scalp, but no microorganisms. This can be from, let's say, stress. Let's say you don't sleep a lot. If you don't sleep a lot, you will have more tendency to be inflamed in some areas. I have also linked a study down below for that. And this leads to, once again, more androgen production, or at least it will have a buildup in that area. 
I actually have an, a study that I've linked below also where they studied when you have benign hyperplasia in the prostate, meaning it's prostate that is built up from DHT that it's growing more or less. And when patients didn't sleep enough, they, they would tend to have more inflammation in the prostate, which would lead to more androgens building up in that area due to lack of sleep. So I just want to sum up, Nisrol isn't going to solve the androgen buildup. Nisrol is going to solve the microorganisms that might lead to inflammation in that area. But if the inflammation is caused by something entirely different, Nisrol isn't going to work for that. This is why also when you do microneedling, you should be very careful not to get any kind of infection because, well, that is going to lead to inflammation. And once again, you should get some good sleep, quality foods, don't smoke, yada, 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 you know the whole drill. So guys, that is all I have for you today. I'm not going to explain all the mechanisms on how NISOL works. If you want that, we can go over some other studies about that. But I just wanted to explain for those of you that use NISOL as a part of your anti-hair loss protocol, just know that it's the inflammation that is the problem that causing the buildup. And if your inflammation is caused by something entirely different, maybe a bad, bad choice of food, poor sleep, something else, a stressed out life, that isn't going to help with NISOL. NISOL is only going to help if you have some bacteria and fiction or microorganisms living in your scalp area. So guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>